What is good, gamers? And welcome back to brand new Dead Overflow video. Now, I know, I know, one at a time, one at a time, ladies, one at a time. I know you guys missed me. It's been two days since I haven't uploaded, but that doesn't matter because today we have a bomb of video. I asked you on the community tab, what type of video should I make? And it's weird from you guys that you just seem to be choosing this one topic when you got all of these other ones. What a weird coincidence, I would say. <laughs> oh my God, what's wrong with me? Anyways, if you're new here, please subscribe, like this video, please like this video for the love of I, I'm, I'm begging you look I'm begging you look I do want me do you want me to be on my knees please please like the video please I, it's just it's just a little click for you I'm, I'm literally on my knees please like the video Yeah, my mom's gonna be so proud of me when she sees that. Anyways, uh, also check out my bug bounty course. <laughs> Link is in the description as well as my platform avenue. Both of them are in the description and the game hacking course is coming out soon. So don't worry, boys, I got you. So let's go with today's. I actually haven't even told you what the video is about. It's Instagram. It's Instagram with its very stupid update. But don't get me wrong. Uh, I hope I hope this is gonna be patched very soon because it's very uh, very annoying and it quite value, violates it quite violates somebody's your privacy to my privacy as well because you can no longer send these images right as you can see on the screen. This photo can be only viewed once. Use mobile app to view. Well, you don't actually have to use a mobile app to view. You can still view this photo and the person who sent it to you will never know that you viewed it. Quiet and an insane coincidence, I would say. Let's go with the video. So this is my beautiful face and I sent a photo that can only be viewed once. To view this, we have to use a mobile app, but no, uh, no, 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 no. We don't actually have to do that because I'll show you right now why. See, everything on Instagram has to be loaded before, like even this whole thing you see on the screen has to be preloaded so that you actually see the messages because this is how Instagram kind of operates in this quite little new edit that I'm going to show you. This is Instagram. And in order to load messages, it has to ask the dude, Bob, hey, Bob, what are the messages that we have to load to our fellow users? For example, you is the user and you go on Instagram and Instagram asks Bob, hey, Bob, what messages do I have to load for the user who is requesting that? And the Bob goes like, uh, here's the chats, just load them up. And after the Instagram loads those chats up like so, it then connects to a WebSocket. And let's call this the, the uncle. Uncle Tom. So he connects to the Uncle Tom <laughs> and Uncle Tom basically updates this in real time. So when somebody sends you a message, it doesn't have to reload all the chats because that's too much and HTTPS is HTTP requests are getting like loaded up. It uses WebSocket requests and WebSocket messages. So one connection, million streams of messages being passed around, passed around, what the f And it essentially just loads up stuff for you. Pretty actually straightforward. Now on the mobile view, you can actually see that I did indeed send a message to myself on this other on this other profile. Let me show you now what actually can happen. When Instagram is loading all of these messages, it actually on desktop, it refuses to load these messages like that are images because of course it will be bad if it just loaded it, that too. And you can kind of see the URL of an image instead of opening this. Well, guess what? There is a nice little URL or API pathway to, to, to API endpoint that I actually got on my GitHub, but it doesn't actually work, unfortunately. But I'll show you what the actual API endpoint is. This is the API endpoint. It's a It can be 100, but I put 10. And there is the limit of chats, 20. So 20 chats, each chat contains 10. So 200 messages being loaded. I didn't put too, I didn't want to put too much because it should, it might like be memory expensive. And also depending on how good your Wi-Fi connection is, it could be very slow, but anyways. Uh, and once you send a request to this, it might tell you that this is a user agent mismatch because Instagram, if you spent years reverse engineering this thing, and by the way, check out my channel. I started hacking on this channel through Instagram, no joke. So what am I actually going to do now? Well, send a request from Instagram itself instead of sending it on a separate tab because of course it will tell me the user agent mismatch even though that's actually not correct it's asking for a xcsrf token i don't know why why it would give you a f false message here that's not what it's asking for anyways so let's inspect this bit oh let's inspect, <laughs> let's inspect this bit and let's um let's do some funny veil things so what am i gonna do right now is i'm going to just send a request 
to this from fetch it will be a method get and these are the headers that i added it's going to you don't actually have to add this sec fetch site but i don't know why i added it i added it here in instagram portal too uh you have to add the xcsrf token you can just copy mine it really doesn't matter because instagram for some reason uses these as universal things no matter how many accounts use them they're like yeah sure use them what a shitty web and x requested with exml uh, anyway so that's just basically simple headers and I do a dot then once the request has been completed to take the response from the request and turn it into JSON. And after that, I call dot then to take that response and just print it out in the console. And let's see what happens. That's so anticlimactic. But here it is. This is a response. And you can see that we actually got some JSON here. Uh, we see inbox, which has 20 threads and it has an array of 20. And the viewer is me. There it is. Uh, let's actually take a look at the inbox. These are all of the threads that we can see and we can open them up. And as you can see, these are all of the threads and look at the first one. The first one is actually very interesting because once we open it, we can see that there is a direct story item. And interesting enough that if we open this, go to items, you can see that there is a one direct story. So you can open multiple stories at once that have been sent to you. And if we scroll down, you can see that there is some Raven Media paid partnership info, weird user seen IDs. Nobody has seen it yet, but there's actually the Raven Media, which is very interesting. Just keep that in mind, Raven Media, and then go to image versions, candidates, and literally take the first one because this one is the highest res. So just open that up and you actually get to end up with a URL. Now, if we copy this URL, you might know that there is actually, um, you have to maybe copy it like this, but you can't copy. Oh, actually you can. That's crazy. So let me just copy this up, open it in a new tab and see what happens. So let's just paste this in the new tab, click enter. Look at it. Uh, that's me, by the way. That's me uh, with a Hello Kitty filter on telling you to subscribe. And you should probably listen to me because I'm telling you to subscribe. And the funniest thing ever is if you actually take a look at now on the mobile view, you can see that I actually haven't even seen it, but I did. That's the problem. See, their update is actually good. It's protecting your privacy, but not sufficiently. I, I, I basically would think that in order to protect their pri your privacy, they need to kill this API endpoint or basically make sure to only accept Android requests, but that can still be bypassed. So uh, this is just a fun little video I decided to do. Please don't sue me. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this little cute, little cute, just a cute little video. YouTube, don't remove it. Stay, stay safe, stay responsible, as always, just please stay responsible, uh, and yeah, peace.